Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode and happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also going to have a look into Ethereum because what a surprise Bitcoin broke out here to the upside from this bullish pattern that we covered yesterday. We had here this falling wedge and Bitcoin right now is breaking out so congratulations to every hodler. We have another new all time high towards 50k and I'm pretty confident that today we potentially going to reach our target of around $54,000 or at least during this coming week because don't forget the CM is closed on $48,000 so most likely on Monday we're gonna retrace back to $48,000 uh, otherwise we're gonna have a new CME gap below of us. So here we had now this nice breakout. The target in theory is already met because the target of a falling wedge is always at the top of this falling wedge. So in theory we have reached now the target but I'm pretty confident that we will see maybe during the whole day uh, follow through here to the upside towards 54,000 because here in the four hour time frame you can see that after getting here a buy signal we have now very strong momentum shift to the upside and we still have a lot of room left. So although the RSI is still not really in overbought condition and we also don't have here a bearish divergence so it looks like that we will see follow through to the upside. So if someone longed this then congratulations also for everyone that is trading with my own indicator over on Discord. In the three hour time frame here we also had a good buy signal and we bounced off here from the support. You can also see here the EMA ribbons uh, which are holding as a very strong support during this uptrend. So me personally I'm not trading during a weekend so I didn't take this trade. I'm still waiting uh, on the sideline potentially this week to open up a new trade if we are getting a nice buy signal. But overall I think that we could see a correction incoming here even though of course we could reach these 54,000 maybe even 60,000 within the next coming days and weeks but overall I think that uh, if we have a look into the daily time frame uh, it could be that we maybe at least come down here to test the nine daily moving average during this coming week here at around uh, $45,000 and then have a big bounce to the upside but the daily time frame is looking like that we could have a correction at least down to this moving average and if we're gonna fall below then maybe we're gonna retest here this $42,000 which previously was the top and now it should be acting as a new support. So I think this area might be retested during this coming week also because the 20 daily moving average slowly is gearing up here to come higher to also catch up with the price. So that's why I think it is very likely that we will see also 20 daily moving average retest, especially if here we are getting a sell signal in the daily. It's not yet confirmed or flashing, but uh, I think here sooner or later we will come down at least down to the 9 daily moving average, maybe even down towards the 20 daily during this coming week because we are looking a bit exhausted here. And it's also healthy that uh, Bitcoin is retesting and confirming this 40 thousand area as a new support because since we had the breakout here we didn't come down here to really test this area and also if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that most likely we're gonna have a very bullish close similar like on the CMEs uh, with a new all-time high weekly close so I think that most likely also here we're gonna close above the previous highs here the previous weekly closes here at around $38,000 and also the weekly of course is looking a bit exhausted here and also maybe here we're gonna see a little correction potentially even down towards the nine weekly moving average currently at $35,000 but we have to update this moving average tomorrow as soon as we're gonna start a new week and for the worst case scenario the 20 weekly moving average which right now is here $24,000 also our previous strong resistance which now is new support is lining up perfectly together here. So that's why I think in the worst case scenario, if we're gonna see a major sell off at the nine weekly, we'll not hold here at around 35,000. Here the 20 weekly, still the worst case scenario for the whole bull market. So whenever the price is coming down towards the 20 weekly moving average, it doesn't have to mean that we have to go now straight down to this price level, but whenever the Bitcoin price is coming down to the 20 weekly moving average or to the nine weekly moving average, we always see a big bounce from it and this is what we're gonna see during the whole 
bull run until we're gonna have a new all-time high and then maybe start another bear market but as long as we are closing weekly candles above the 9 and 20 weekly moving average we are good to go to the upside and of course that is also good here for the 200 weekly moving average where usually bitcoin always bottoms out during bear markets and uh, you can also see here in the past we always bottomed out at the 200 weekly moving average so it is very very healthy that we are bringing up also the 200 moving average here slowly to the upside here because that means that also in the next bear market we're gonna maybe bottom out somewhere where the 200 weekly moving average is lining up and in my opinion it is still very likely that this 60k area where the stock to flow price model predicts the next bottom of the next bear market to line up so here at around 60,000 and the old 6k base that we had after the last all-time high of 20k will be then 100,000 so in my opinion 100,000 will be the new 6k and 60,000 will be the new 3k this is at least my expectations here for the next cycle as soon as we are reaching the top in the bitcoin price but we're still far far away from an all-time high my friends and also from a bear market so that's why it is still very cheap to buy bitcoin right now because everything below 60,000, i think it's the last time that we will see those prices so if you want to buy bitcoin below 60,000, you still have time and take advantage of every major correction or dip because this could be really the last time that you're able to buy cheap bitcoin and uh, I still think corrections are in the cards before we're reaching these high levels up here because we are also very high compared to where we should be right now based on the stock to flow model price. Of course, it predicts already now Bitcoin to be above $100,000, but you have to look here at the 463 days moving average here that is coming up slowly. Usually Bitcoin always is holding up with this price level and you can see that right now we are a bit above this moving average. So we should be at around 32,000 right now and not at 50,000. That's why we could still see a little correction down towards $32,000, potentially even a bit higher before then we gear up again towards 100K and of course even higher because I don't think that 100K will be the top of course there maybe some people are starting to take a little bit of profits we maybe could see another little sell-off towards again here this moving average here and then have the final big leg up towards new all-time highs of around two or three hundred thousand dollar we could go even way higher than that there are some price predictions that are saying that bitcoin will go between 400 to 600 thousand dollar but they think at two three hundred thousand it's already good to start to take a little bit of profits out so you can rebuy back in in the next bear market once we're gonna crash maybe towards 100 or 60 thousand dollar again and now let's switch over into the ethereum price because ethereum currently is lagging a bit behind bitcoin you can see that we are closing four hour candles above the 20 moving average in the four hour which of course is very bullish and also here on ethereum i'm expecting here to retest the resistance up here at 1900 pretty soon and also go potentially towards 2100 dollar because we are still in this upwards trending channel here even though we could break here this 1900 dollar resistance and go higher but as long as we are not breaking also this 2100 dollar we are still within this channel and we could expect then another rejection and come back down here towards 2000 or 1900 dollar so also in my own indicator we are getting here a buy signal in the four hour right now also the momentum is shifting again to the upside so we could see right now ethereum catching up with bitcoin if bitcoin is able to stay at around 49,000 or even go higher so if you want to take a trade on ethereum i think right now is still a good opportunity to go long here so i'm pretty bullish also here on ethereum especially for the next coming days and weeks we are still closing daily candles above the nine daily moving average and that of course is very bullish uh, the daily time frame also here is looking a bit exhausted so we maybe could even come down towards the 20 daily moving average at 1600 but overall everything is pointing out that also here we're gonna see continuation to the upside so everything is still looking bullish my friends 
I think we're gonna have another bullish week incoming, although of course we could also still see a little correction, especially at least down towards $48,000 where the CM is closed on Friday. And keep in mind that if you want to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can do this here on Bybit and of course also on Femex. Those two exchanges are also the ones that I am using. If you still need an account over there, use my referrals down below here to sign up to those exchanges. Like this, you can easily sign up without KYC. You will get some extra money and also you support the channel, of course. And otherwise you find also other useful links here, for example, for Binance, where you can also store your cryptos here and get some daily interest. So take advantage of Binance because here you can also easily buy and sell all the altcoins that you want. Of course, you can also buy Bitcoin here with your credit card, with your bank account and so on. And at the same time, you can also get some interest here without doing anything. And your money is not locked for days or weeks. You can get it whenever you want it back because here you have a savings account and here also you can top it up or withdraw whenever you want. So take advantage of this nice feature that Binance is offering. If you, if you still need an account, use my referral link down below here. And also a big shout out to our great Discord trading chat. We have a very great crypto family over there. We are maybe the biggest Discord crypto channel in the world, who knows? But if you want to join it, you can join it for free with the link down below here, the official link in the video description. And this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator for a small donation of course if you're interested in getting access to my indicator make sure to contact me directly over here on discord and the big warning again my friends there are a lot of scammers that are copying my name and my logo here on youtube they are commenting with some whatsapp numbers and telegram groups this is all fake this is all scam so don't fall into those traps make sure to use always the official links that you find down below here in the video description and if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure to open up an account over on coinbase Binance and all the Swiss pork. This is the place where you can easily buy cryptos with your bank account or credit card. If you use my invitation links down below here, you will get also some extra money with your first purchase. And very, very important, a big reminder, store always your cryptos in hardware wallets. And we still have this special Valentine's Day promotion going on over on Ledger. It is very important that you keep for the long term, your cryptos always in hardware wallets like this. It doesn't matter if any kind of exchange is getting hacked because your cryptos are always safe in your hardware wallet. So that's why it is very important that you always have your own offline wallet with your own private keys. And today's the last day with this special Valentine's Day promotion. So take advantage of it. If you want to use my referral link, then you find it right below here in the video description. So if you like the content, my friends, please hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. And with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up. Enjoy your Valentine's Day. Enjoy your Sunday. And we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.